or that if the external is the only thing that could motivate you yeah. then you're really from a spiritual standpoint you don't matter it's those uh, objects and material things that make you happy and right. you know if you think about buddhism they always say that that person doesn't make me happy or sad that object is an ice cream not making me happy it's my mind but in behaviorism they don't even count that they just assume you, you're just responding you're responding now um extrinsic motivation is what you're talking about now there so how do we motivate ourselves to change these habits besides just changing behavior is that we have to have intrinsic motivation yeah, so a simple way to think about it is if you're working for the money, that's an extrinsic motivation. Mm -hmm. uh, the reward is out the, outside mm -hmm. of you. But if you're working for a higher purpose, that's an intrinsic motivation, mm -hmm. meaning you're doing your actions and you're doing your best work, not just to get the money. I mean, the money will be there because by principle, any, anytime you take an action, there is a result. Um, but that's not the primary motive for you. Mm. You're focusing more on creating something, right? An external, I mean, an internal vision that you have. You're working towards creating that. That's the higher purpose. And they actually did. Um, they did this, this famous uh, experiment where they uh, there was this kindergarten and uh, or preschool, I think it was. And uh, while the kids were waiting for the parents to pick them up, they would just have paper out, and so the kids would be, you know, just drawing, and they were making all these cool like drawings, mm -hmm. and they were really excited. And then the preschool teacher said, "Oh, I have a good idea. Since they love drawing, why don't we make it a contest and and give a prize to them?" every time they you know whoever has the best drawing and they thought that that would motivate them by getting oh and now i'm going to give you a prize on top of it but what happened is it decreases their motivation it yeah. actually made what they were doing work versus play and so i want you to think about that for you is what's motivating you is if you have to wait for the prize like if you i have to celebrate when i lose 10 pounds or if i make you know a certain amount of money by the end of the month and get 10 clients if i'm a coach uh if it, it'll feel like you're working but if you're doing it because you love it because you feel like like i, I always say like this is what you were meant to do <laughs> i love to coach i love to teach um and you let go of the attachment to what that looks like but you have goals and all those things but you're not attached to them it doesn't mean that you don't care about the goals or that you don't have goals but the way you approach them is from a, a place of play and creativity yeah. and from your heart, then it, it just doesn't feel like work. That's right. And so that's where that intrinsic, you're, you're, the, the action itself gives you joy yeah. versus the result gives me joy. So you're taking that result out of the way and saying, I just love what I do. And it's so weird, but it, it seems counterintuitive. But when you take away the external motivation, you end up uh, feeling happier you are wealthier uh even in relationships like dating I, I always tell when i was doing a lot of dating coaching i was like just enjoy meeting people and and just enjoy talking about you know getting and in, meeting interesting people and this you, you never get this opportunity once you're married is to meet all these different interesting men and women and uh go out to dinner and have fun and and if that process can be joyful versus Okay, he's not the one next. He's not the one next. Oh, I hate dating. I hate oh, dating. Oh, the swiping. Yeah, it's a lot of work. <laughs> oh, it's so much work. I just can't wait for that that one guy to come. And it's like you're not even enjoying the process. How do you think that other person's going to feel mm. across from you? And I think that's what's missing in a lot of our life is that we don't have any meaning to what we're doing. We're just doing it for that goal. Yeah, we've certainly had our share of uh, working with people that uh, are very extrinsically motivated. They mm -hmm. they have certain goals in their life, and there's nothing wrong with, with having goals. Mm. Um, but in thinking about what really motivates you, what makes you tick, what makes you get up in the morning, and is it exciting for you? Mm. And most importantly, is it meaningful? Mm. Because a lot of these goals... They're just objects. They're just it's just money. It's just things. They don't really bring meaning to the individual. 